Pleasant good morning, pleasant good morning, pleasant good day, pleasant good evening, wherever you're looking from. Welcome back to HEDM Morning Devotion. Bringing you greetings this morning from House of Esther, Divine Ministries, bringing you greetings on behalf of our pastor and our church this morning, wishing you a uh, season greetings, uh, wishing you long life, health, and prosperity for the coming year. This morning, my word is going to be on betrayal. Um, betrayal. When you think of betrayal, a lot comes to mind. A lot comes to mind. Hearing the word alone brings you, 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 your mind back to either being betrayed or either feeling betrayed. Or even you being the betrayer. But this morning, betrayal, as the dictionary defines, it says it's an action of betraying your country, a group, or a person. Um, it's a violation of a person's trust and confidence. This morning, uh, there are different um, names that sometimes we we um, use in place of betrayal, and some of them are deception, two timer, <laughs> sell out, <laughs> Judas, double cross, or even treason. If you you you, you betray a country, it's called treason, and um. It's, it's this word betrayal. It, it, um, produces a lot of different emotions. One of them, uh, is anger, rage, or avoidance. Sometimes when we get betrayed or we feel betrayed, there's a great anger. Sometimes the anger leads to rage, which might lead to physical battle, which might lead to words, harmful words we might say to someone or somebody, um, or even avoidance. Sometimes we feel betrayed and we say, well, I don't want to have nothing to do with that person anymore. That's it. I put them down. That's it. I don't want to have anything to do with them. But, um, beloved, uh, let us um, take time because be betrayal, betrayal, it's, it's a terrible thing, feeling. It's a terrible feeling. And I thought to myself, yes, I have been betrayed. Yes. But have I at some time? being the betrayer and um i started to search myself search my mind and you know um as much as sometimes we don't think that we in the wrong we in the right there are times that we too might be the perpetrator anyway um there are five stages of betrayal but before I name uh, the five stages of betrayal, um, I would like to list some of the reasons that people betray us or we betray others. Sometimes it's greed, excessive greed, ambition, your yeah, ambition. You want to, you, 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 some of us, our ambition are so high that we would put down uh, um, your own brother or your sister. You might put down your friend that you would be able to get that position or get that line. Uh, jealousy. Jealousy. Jealousy is one. And um, it's, it's, it's sad, but... You know, when I thought of betrayal and I, 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 I started to think of it in the biblical sense and uh, it started, all started in the garden. Um, Adam, God made him in his own image and likeness and 
He was trusted to be in the garden, to keep watch over the garden. He was trusted with every living thing in the garden. He was even trusted with the tree of life that God said, look, there's the tree of life, but don't eat of it. And, 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 and God broke, broke that trust by eating of the fruit. And uh, he had a price to pay. Beloved, um, we place trust. Sometimes you 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 as Judas. Judas trust. Judas was friendship. Judas broke the trust of a friend, right? Um, we know he betrayed Christ. Then we have Peter. That at the time Christ needed him, you know. Sometimes you're in relationships. You 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 might be wrong, but you would like your spouse or your significant other to stand on your side. Not saying that they won't tell you that you're wrong, but they would like them to stand that support you. You know, give you support, and they might not in the presence of thing, and and that's where you need your support, and you're going to might feel betrayed. But let us um, be, try to try because betrayal is a thing that it's, it will take a long time before it will come out from you. You will be, you will forget it because when you forget, forget betrayed or you feel betrayed, the first thing is your shock because you're shocked that this person going to betray me here. This person going to be streaming. And then you're saying, nah, man, that person got denial. Right? That's the second stage, denial. You say, nah, man, that person ain't going to betray me. That person going to betray me. And then you're going to get angry and mad because you're saying, ah, this person betray me. I'm going gonna, gonna to fix them. I'm going to fix them. And I'm going to, you know, you start to make different things. Uh, then you, 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 some, you, you, some of us feel depressed knowing that a trusted friend or colleague, a trusted partner, a trusted spouse, or a trusted family, a trusted friend that you place your trust in them and, 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 and they, they do not, they do not, um, Get, they do not have any loyalty in them and they don't have any integrity, any honesty. So because of that now, it might bring you to a stage where you feel depressed. Then, last of all, you're going to accept it. Say, well, okay, this is my fate. This is what, this is what. But betrayal pains. Betrayal is a hard thing, and it's hard to get over. It's hard to forget. But we as Christians, we as Christians, we have to try our utmost best to not be too bitter, not be too complacent, not be too, not be too um, angry. You know, not to be too unforgiving, you know. Even though it hurt, even though we might remember it, we have to forgive. We mightn't forget. Or I think we shouldn't forget because if you forget, you might make the same mistake again. But we should forgive as God too will forgive us when we make a mistake. We have to think that Yes, I feel betrayed. Yes, I have I have been betrayed. But have you ever been the betrayer? Or have you ever made someone feel betrayed? You might not have betrayed them, but they felt betrayed by you. So this morning, thanking you, I hope um, that you would think on these few words. Um, think uh, 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 about betrayal, ask yourself, search yourself, and if you have betrayed someone, ask, uh, um, pray and ask, 
and, and to have a change of mind that your whole mindset will be changed. Pray that if someone has betrayed you, that you will be able to forgive them and move on in, in, in love and in peace. This morning, I, I am happy to speak with you. I am elated this morning. I am overjoyous this morning. I feel lifted myself because of the word betrayal i i i feel i have been betrayed and i too think that i probably somewhere along the line might have might have unknowingly or unintentionally made someone feel betrayed so let us forgive let us love in jesus name amen see you tomorrow on our next morning devotion if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe touch the like button leave a comment let us know this morning in jesus name as we try and to comfort somebody somewhere around the world somewhere to touch a heart or a soul this morning I pray God this morning that he would bless and he would keep you. I pray God that you would not have betrayal in your life, be people that would betray you. I pray God that you would have trusted and and loyal and 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 friends and family with integrity and honesty this morning. I pray God that for 2023 that it's going to be better. Have a blessed day.